Hey, look at you. You're making money on stream. You're getting donations. You're getting subs. You're getting bits. You're an affiliate, maybe. Either way, it's exciting when your stream starts actually making you money. Like, at what point in your life before this did playing video games actually make you money? It's a pretty dope feeling, huh? And the best part is this money can be spent on growing your channel, like getting you more subscribers and more donations and viewers. You just, you gotta spend it right. The initial knee-jerk reaction when people start making money on Twitch is to spend it on their gaming experience. And I get that, you know, your, your gaming is making you money. You now have a pretty good excuse to start spending that money on gaming stuff. And you know what, if you're streaming as a hobby, by all means, go ahead and keep doing that. But if you want to grow and turn into an actual streamer, you need to be treating this like a business and you need to be spending your money like a business. And if you do, this will become your business, right? So, you know, maybe let's get smart here a little bit. My name is Harris Heller, I am your stream doctor, and uh, today uh, we're gonna get a little uncomfortable and we're gonna talk about your money. All right, in this video, I wanna talk about a couple very important things. All right, the first one being the principle that I live by with every single dollar I make streaming. To give you guys an idea of, you know, whether you're starting from scratch or whether you're already a couple months or years into the game, what your first upgrades should be. And then um, after we're done with that, we're going to talk about some of the big financial mistakes that I made on streaming and maybe some of the things that I regret purchasing. I don't know. Everybody talks about not having regrets. I think not having regrets is stupid. I think having some regrets keeps you from making the same mistakes again in the future. So, you know, let's maybe throw me under the bus here. Uh, to help you out. All right, now look, there's a very important principle in business that applies to streaming that you should know. You've probably heard the old adage, never spend your first dollar, but like, what does that mean? Well, what that means for you as a streamer is if you are making, I don't know, $20 a month now on donations or maybe even a hundred, if you're spending that hundred dollars on yourself or your gaming rig, that hundred dollars is, is now gone and it never comes back. But if you spend that hundred dollars on ways to improve your stream and grow your viewership and make an additional hundred dollars a month, well now you're making two hundred dollars a month. Your money can be spent on ways to make more money. Real quick, let me give you a real world example of this. Let's say a couple months ago I made like five hundred dollars on subscribers and donations and, and whatever, anything else. And I have been wanting for a long time a brand new monitor. I can go out and I can buy myself a 1440p, 144 hertz Predator monitor and really up my gaming experience, but that that $500 is now gone and I have to earn it again the next month. Or what I can do is I can spend that $500 on two or three really great YouTube videos, maybe uh, hire an editor to help me give some life to my videos or, or maybe a graphic designer to make some really catchy thumbnails so they get a lot of clicks. Either way, that $500 has now brought in potentially a couple hundred more viewers and maybe even dozens of subscribers that subscribe for months and months in a row, bringing my overall monthly revenue up much, much higher that I can spend that now on a new monitor and it's gonna keep growing. You should be spending your money on things that provides growth your channel because growth is what's going to change this from a hobby to a sustainable business that you're able to maintain for years and years and make hopefully eventually substantial amounts of money because you spent your first dollars wisely all right so let's talk about what my recommendations for very early investments should be in a stream starting from the very first one all right and here's what we're going to do with this i'm going to run off the assumption that you already have an up and running stream right? You already have a stream going. You're looking to make upgrades on donations and subs. If you don't have a stream running, you know, maybe do that first. But the very first thing I've said in a lot of videos to pick up is a webcam. And I know audio is very important. A lot of people say, why would you get a webcam if you don't have a microphone? Look, everybody who plays video games has a headset with a built-in microphone. I know it doesn't sound great, but you have a microphone. The first thing you should get is a webcam. Get yourself a cheap 1080p Logitech webcam so people can see who they're watching. It's very important. Immediately after the webcam, the next thing I would suggest is getting some lights. And I don't mean fancy schmancy ring lights or anything like that. I mean, go to Home Depot, spend $10. You know, I'm gonna grab it for you. Look at this thing, right? You can pick this up at Home Depot. It's a little dome light. It's like five to $10. Throw a little twisty CFL bulb in this. Maybe get some cheap packing paper from Target for like 50 cents to kind of go over the front and diffuse it a little bit. Clamp this onto something behind your camera 
and that's gonna make your camera look a hundred times better. I've made a whole video on how to do this, link in the description below. But if you're looking for a serious camera upgrade, don't get a new camera get a light. Maybe get two of those. I always like one on my face and it's really important that I have edge lighting also. I always have an edge light. See this thing right here? It separates you from your background. Let me turn it off and show you the difference. Do you see the difference here? It's hard to distinguish my head from the background behind me because it gets dark around the edges. Edge lights are important. Cool, let's move on to the next one. Now that you have all three major components, you've got a webcam, you've got lights, and you got a microphone, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to upgrade that microphone. Now this might be surprising to some of you guys. Some of you might say, well, why don't you get a better camera first? Look, I studied production in college. I have been invited by YouTube to go to their headquarters to talk about production quality. Anyone in the production field will tell you that out of camera, lighting, and audio, the most important one to sound professional is audio. People notice audio, and it might even just be subconscious, but when you have crappy audio, there is something in your brain telling you, mm, this isn't right. Get yourself a nice mic. I have a video talking about how to get great audio for really cheap, link in the description below. The next priority on your list before you upgrade any of these things anymore should be branding yourself. You need to look like you are worthy of viewers. All right, go on Fiverr or any other type of cheap freelance site and get yourself a cheap logo. And I don't mean a logo that you're gonna make your profile picture. I talked about that in my last video. You don't wanna make your profile picture a logo. You want your profile picture to be your face, but have a logo that you can display somewhere on screen showing the world that, hey, this is who I am, I'm taking this seriously. Branding is incredibly important and incredibly overlooked, which is why we're gonna keep going with branding for a little bit. The next thing you should get is sub badges and emotes. Everything you're doing up to this point is encouraging people to stay in your stream and support you and feel like you are someone worth investing and spending time with. And when people subscribe to you, they do it not only just to support you, but because they wanna feel like they're a part of something that only they're a part of. They're a part of an exclusive club that they paid to get into. And when they do that and there's no emotes and their sub badge is that stupid little purple square with a star that really they could have subbed to anyone to get. It doesn't give them the satisfaction they're looking for and they might not stay for a second month. Give them a badge and an emote that they can use and wear proudly and that they're afraid to lose. You can get a whole package of a sub badge and three emotes for like 25 bucks on Fiverr. Go do that next. All right, I would say that you should get some panels for your channel next, but honestly, this one's kind of a freebie. You can Google Twitch panels and find plenty of free Twitch panels to just throw right on your page. Make sure that when people come to your page, you don't look like a hobbyist, but you look like a professional streamer and panels are gonna help you do that. All right, you've noticed probably the last couple things we've talked about are designs and I haven't talked about an overlay and there's two reasons for this. One, overlays are getting incredibly minimal. Don't pay some designer to make this big flashy overlay for your camera that just kind of annoys people. All right, go to Stream Elements or Stream Labs. They have a bazillion free overlays really minimal ones that you can pick up that look professional. You don't need to pay for one of those yet. Just, just go grab a free one. But let's talk about the next thing you should pay for, all right? Your camera is a window into your room. People are there because they like you, they wanna support you. Give them more things to grab onto faster. Start decorating your room behind you. Get yourself little things like, I don't know, posters of your favorite bands or animes. Maybe some LED lights or light strips to go behind you. Grab yourself some plushies of your favorite video game, whatever. One of the most common comments I get every day on my stream is that I have a really cool stream room. This room, like it, the thing that makes it cool is I have a light over there and I have a light over there. The rest of it's just kind of blurry. When I'm on my stream, really, the only thing you can see behind me is my guitars. I didn't buy those for the stream. Those, I just played guitar for a really long time. Got a little bit of acoustic foam on the walls and some lights and people love it. Decorating your room with lights and parts of your personality is a great way for people to get an idea of who you are very quickly and, uh, and find people with common ground. All right, your stream at this point is starting to look very professional. So now there's a question you need to ask yourself and you need to be able to do this objectively. The question is, how professional does your stream look versus how many people are in your stream? Are you deserving of more viewers than you have? And I know you're all gonna immediately jump and say, yes, I deserve more viewers. No, I want you to look at Twitch. Look at people with double the viewership you have. Does their stream look more professional than yours? If not, 
then you might deserve more viewers you just haven't been discovered yet. And rather than spending your money on gear upgrades that frankly people just aren't going to see anymore, you should be spending money on getting your name in front of people that otherwise never would have found you. I made a whole video on balancing spending time getting yourself found versus making your stream entertaining enough to get those people who found you to follow you and support you, right? You need to be focused on both of those things. So if you feel like the quality of your stream is good enough to where people are following you and enjoying your stream, you're just not having enough people discover you, you should probably be spending your next investment on that area, getting your stream in front of new faces. And four years ago, what I would have said the next upgrade is, is maybe some editing software or maybe a cheap DSLR, something to get yourself that nice footage. But I mean, in 2019, your camera can probably shoot in 4K 60 frames per second and you can find free editing software pretty much anywhere. If you have a Mac, iMovie is frankly incredible. And if you're on a PC, DaVinci Resolve or HitFilm Express are both great free options. So you've got a camera, you've got editing software, get yourself things to make your videos look professional. Some of those things might include uh, an intro logo splash with your logo on it that looks really professional. This one that was in the beginning of the stream, I got done on Fiverr, I think it was like 45 bucks. Maybe get yourself some title animations so if you're making a list video or something it looks very professional. Find yourself a cheap thumbnail creator and get yourself a very eye-catching thumbnail so people actually click on your video to begin with. That's really important. Really at this point in the upgrade cycle, you've been upgrading for a year now, you're probably experienced enough to understand what you need next, which is good because it's kind of at this point an as needed basis. Take a look at what your stream is lacking, upgrade that next. Just try not to spend money on things that your viewers won't notice. There's a bad habit that I've seen in a lot of YouTube videos. We've all seen the little donation goal bar at the bottom, and there's nothing wrong with that, but most of the time when I see a donation goal on a stream, it has, you know, an RTX 2080 Ti on it. And as a viewer, I'm just not gonna donate to that because that's not gonna benefit me in any way. That's not gonna make watching the stream more fun for me. I don't feel like I'm investing in a stream that I enjoy. I feel like I'm paying for this guy's toys. So set some goals, spend your money on the viewer, not on yourself. Your stream will grow, you'll get that money back, and when you're making plenty of money in the future, buy all the toys you want, all right? Speaking of which, let me talk about some of my favorite things that I've purchased for my stream, and then, you know, some of the things I kind of regret buying. And if I could go back, I would have saved a lot of money. Some of my favorite things that I've spent time and money on in my stream are designs. I've spent a lot of time making my stream look completely different than anybody else's. Fortunately, I've been able to do most of it myself, but at this moment right now, I'm actually working with Visuals by Impulse to do a complete redesign of my stream, and I'm very excited about it. Another one of my favorite things I've spent money on are little unique things that add flavor to my stream. Like for example, extra little cameras around the room that I switch to at certain points in my stream. Like I've got a cheap little $50 action camera over here in the corner of my room that faces my stream setup from behind. It gives a really unique perspective on my stream that you just don't get to see in most other people's streams. It keeps your stream memorable and it makes people want to come back. Now, one of the things I probably wouldn't buy again is I have a very fancy camera. I've been a YouTuber for a long time, so at the time it seemed like a, a very good investment. I was obsessed with getting just that picture-perfect look. And frankly, the difference between a $1,000 camera and a $4,000 camera isn't that much. If I had just settled for a low-end or mid-range DSLR, I would have saved myself three to four thousand dollars. And that would probably get me an editor to work on weekly videos for four to five months. I mean, 16 weekly videos over the course of four months can do wonders for a Twitch channel. And honestly, by the end of that four or five months of weekly videos, given the YouTube ad revenue and the new subscribers and followers and donations I got on Twitch probably would have made me back $4,000. So yeah, camera would be number one. The other thing I probably wouldn't have spent money on is a gaming chair. And I know you're sitting there for a long time and you don't want to be uncomfortable, but really, you can go to Ikea and get yourself an $80 chair that's comfortable enough. Getting a gaming chair is really a luxury. And they're expensive, they're like $400. That $400 could go a really long way towards 
camera and lighting and audio upgrades or a really top-notch design for your stream that the viewer's actually gonna notice, whereas they're not gonna notice what chair you're sitting in. And now that I've gotten started talking about bad purchases, I'm like thinking of more and more, and this is just gonna get embarrassing if I keep going on. So we're gonna stop there. I'm just gonna give you one more reminder. You are in a very competitive field. There are lots of people that want to be professional streamers. Lots of people competing for your viewers. If you're not giving them a great experience, someone else will. All right, I hope this is helpful. If it was, make sure you hit the like button and also pop into my stream. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening and Saturday mornings, link down in the description below. I hope to see you there and I hope you hit that subscribe button and as always, happy streaming. Yeah, yes. one more, one more, one more. One more. One no, more. another one. Just one more. Okay, maybe yes. one more. Yes! There you go. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh. oh, yes, dude.